What's up guys? So it's been a while since I've done a dual review and just so you guys know the guys who are new a dual review I do not look under every rock I just figure out what they do best and focus on that so this is not going to be the most thorough review on either of them I'm just showing you what it is that they both did best and how best to use them so here we go the first of which being Tevin Coleman now when I saw his card I was very very curious 91 speed 90 excel and 6 foot 1 very interesting combination the 85 carry though was very worrisome but honestly it didn't really show its ugly face to my surprise he does also have an 87 spin that's his best you know running back rating and in terms of you know trucking stiff farming spin juke move you know all the basic running back ratings the spin move was by far what he did best in my opinion i was kind of surprised i i did not think he was going to be that um that agile i, I did not think he was going to have this many successful spins but kind of blew me away so if you want to pick up coleman and want to use them the traditional way you know the um juking spinning truck and everything i would say lean on the spin more than anything else for whatever reason this is what he did best in terms of in terms of just being a natural running back from what i saw at least 91 speed and 90 excel is a nice combination for any running back you see here you can absolutely bounce to the outside and just get chunks of yards at a time 10 20 30 or, or more yards and you see here he does have pretty decent hands as well and of course 91 speed does not make you uncatchable you know you can see here it i didn't break off too many home run hits but i did get plenty of you know 20 30 yard gains this right here was by far his best play in terms of you know uh, utilizing his speed just zigzagging your way through hitting the outside and just be gone so very very tough to catch in the open field but unfortunately not impossible now to my surprise what he did best was breaking tackles on his own and giving that second chance to get even more yards reminding me a lot of the uh, team hero david johnson in that regard i mean his ability to break tackles on his own was ridiculous. I mean, so many times I'd bounce to the outside, expecting to just you know take off and be gone, and then watch him break tackles and get me even more yards. So, I know this might sound weird, but I think the best way to use Coleman is treat him like you would Dre Archer. You know, just bounce to the outside, try to get cheap, fast yards. The only difference though is obviously Coleman can actually break tackles and get you even more yards. So, in my opinion, I think that's the best way to use Tevin Coleman. And next we got Sammy Coates. Now he's got a few ratings that really, you know, stick out. And those are 90 speed, 89 spectacular, 90 catch and traffic, 90 release, and 90 jump. Those are amazing stats for any receiver. And just by those stats alone, you would think that this would be like a 90 overall receiver. Those are really high stats. But then you notice the other two, the 74 route running and the 81 catch. Now keep an eye out on that 81 catch rating. We are going to be talking a lot about that later on in the review. But the first thing that I do want to talk about is his 90 speed and his 6 foot 1 frame. That together is a nice combination and even more deadly with the slant routes. You see right here, whenever I noticed my opponent was in man to man, I would change his route, put him on a slant, send him across the middle, you, you see triangle and just getting amazing separation over and over and over. And you see right here as well, you know, there just aren't that many corners that can keep up with 90 speed. There are some but not many and of course. From time to time, you can throw the ball to him and watch him just take off for a touchdown. And speaking of slant routes, look at the far left. You know, putting him out wide, putting him on a slant route, and throwing a quick little dart is so effective. 90 release, 90 jump, all this plays in. Look at that clean release, man, for an easy touchdown. So this is another great way to use him to have great success. But this was the one glaring thing about him, man. Look at this. The far left, man. The 81 catch. I told you guys to keep an eye out on this, and this is why could not believe how many wide open passes he was just dropping look at this fourth and three i gotta have it throw it to him wide open drops it another situation coming up fourth and two i believe throw it to him he drops it i could not stand the wide open drops but where he performed the best was catching and traffic across the middle and even though he had those wide open drops it's like whenever he did decide to catch the ball cleanly and then take a hit immediately after catching it it was very very impressive i just wish he didn't have those wide open drops because this was amazing i couldn't believe you know how effective he was as a slot receiver going across the middle catching the ball taking a smack from a linebacker or whoever it may have been and holding on to it so if it wasn't for those wide open drops passes he might have just took in will fuller spot because he does everything great it's just that paranoia of the drop passes so all in all guys very interesting players Tevin Coleman, I look at him as Dre Archer's big brother, you know, uh, rely on the speed and watch him break a few tackles here and there to get even more yards. Sammy Coates, 
Oh man, so much potential, you know, so much potential. If he was catching those wide open passes like it was nothing, then he would have took Will Fuller's spot on my team. But I can't have someone on my team that's going to let me down on fourth down like he did so many times. So just a shame, honestly. But anyways, guys, that, that's going to wrap this up. Luke Keekley's review will be dropping tonight. I promise you, I, I'm sorry that I'm late on that. But anyways, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you boys for the Luke Keekley review. Peace.